Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of November 27th through December 3rd already. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I've got a couple new decks here. I've got the Oracle of Portals. We're going to start with that. Then we're going to lay down the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And in closing, I have the Eternal Crystals deck. Let's see what spirit has for cancer. You might watch your sun, moon, and rising uh, to gain more insight into the energies coming in for you this week. And these are general readings. Please take them as they resonate. If you like the reading, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Share it with your friends. Um, and of course, you can hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. Uh, or you can hit that notification bell for notifications. Let's see, Spirit, Creator, what do we have for Cancer for the week of November 27th, please? What do we have for Cancer for November 27th? All right, Cancer. If I could get the cards apart, here we go. The end. Wow, the end. We pulled the end. <laughs> Interesting. Let's uh, see what it says. Number 43 in the end. All right. This card points to a complete and total ending of something, such as a relationship, a problem, or an era. Be assured it does not foretell a physical death. In some cases, it may indicate that a loved one has recently passed, but consider that even the birth of a child is an ending of sorts. Even as you say hello, it is also a final goodbye to how you lived before. Death is among the most sacred of portals. No matter what may precede or surround it, death itself is the ultimate in transcendence. And in this life experience that is characterized by change, it benefits us to make friends with it. This is especially true for those who desire to be powerful and wise. If the condition that ended or is ending was something you loved or wanted, you are entering a time of grief. If the condition was unloved or unwanted, you are entering a time of relief. These feelings and others may appear in combination with each other if the situation is more complex. Regardless, you will emerge with a deeper understanding and the decks will be utterly cleared for something brand new to be born. Be brave. Enter into this portal with your eyes open. Breathe deeply. Remember that death is a part of life and that others have been here before. Feel any feelings that arise and cultivate a willingness to be with the reality that in this experience of time and separation, there comes a moment when everything must end. Even still, energy never dies. Your consciousness, which is one with divine consciousness, is also eternal. And paradoxically, this portal points us to these truths. It is the portal where we remember eternity and realize that it is us. Okay, let's see what the tarot has for Cancer. Okay, um... <laughs> For Sunday, for Sunday, we have High Priestess Energy and the Four of Wands. Nice, very nice. Oh, look at this. We have, sorry, we have the 1111 right here. And then we have the 1111 right here. Divinely watched over. Spirit is watching over you. The angels are there with you. Um, that uh, security is being built for you. Keep in touch with your intuition, higher wisdom, knowledge, that insight from your higher self as you move forward to create this abundance, this stability. Listen to that intuition, your higher self, uh, what that inner voice 
that still small voice is telling you. All right, let's... Um, perhaps uh, Sunday, just spend some time with enjoying the blessings that are there for you, the security that you have, and that connection that you have to your higher self. Tap into those things on Sunday. And on Monday, for Cancer, the Seven of Swords on Monday. Collecting wisdom, intellect, insight. Gathering information to strategize your next move. Also, the moon is here indicating intuition. So not only are you gathering that information, you're tapped in and connected to intuition. You want to do that. We always want to do that. We want to gather information and use our intuition as well. All right. Tuesday, please. Tuesday, the six of coins. Keeping things balanced. Relationships, resources, energy, time, balancing things out, knowing where to give, where to hold back, um, examining uh, the areas of your life, your relationships, your finances, everything. Is there reciprocal energy there? Where you invest your time, your energy, uh, your relationships that you invest in, is there reciprocal energy is there a do you get back what you put in is there a return for your investment balance things make sure um, everything is balanced where there is an imbalance um, do what you can to balance it uh, perhaps there may be even be something you need to let go of because it is so unbalanced that it does not serve you at all Okay, let's see what Wednesday has. Wednesday, please. Wednesday, the two of wands. Yes. Listen to that heartfelt guidance in making your decisions, your choices. Listen to what your heart is telling you. Pay attention to that guidance that is coming from within. Your passions, your desires. When you need to choose, choose from the heart. Not, don't just overanalyze everything and think things through over and over again. Make sure the heart has room to come through, that you're listening to that heart guidance and not just the mind. All right, what do we have on Thursday, please? Thursday, we have the Eight of Wands. Yes, when you choose from the heart, universe works on your behalf. Creator, laying things out for you. Swift movement, action taking place to push you in the right direction. The path is being laid out. You are being led and guided. What do we have for... Friday. Spirit is revealing those next steps to you, illuminating the path for you, and moving things along for you. So pay attention. All right, Friday. Friday. The Nine of Coins. Look at that. Yes. Stepping into that independence, courageously moving forward to build that security that you seek. This is creative energy it is um, co-creating with universe source creator uh, to create a life that um, that you long for doing what you desire something close to your heart something meaningful to you all right what do we have for saturday please Saturday. 
Saturday is temperance, balancing things, making sure things are balanced, being patient as you move forward, um, not pushing too hard, but weighing everything in the balance, balancing energies, time, resources, keeping it all in balance as you move forward, move toward the goal. All right, let's take an oracle in closing. We have a lot of lower chakras here. Um, I want to support those. Let's see. What do we have in closing, please, for Cancer? All right, Cancer. Bloodstone. We have bloodstone. Detoxifying. Root, heart, and sacral chakras. <laughs> Number seven. Very fitting for this reading. Bloodstone is a very strong sign for you today that it's time for you to start to look after yourself. Try to ground and detoxify your physical body and your spiritual energy. If you haven't been looking after yourself, balance is needed in your life. Eat in moderation. Choose foods which nourish and ground you. Also look at what you're drinking. Do you drink enough water? Are you watching how much alcohol or soda you have? Focus on what you are breathing in. Are you smoking or do you have a lot of dust or chemicals around you? Detoxify your detoxifying your body can take time, so it's important that you start to make some changes today. You don't have to do anything huge. You may like to start by looking at one area of your life first, such as your food portions. It is not only your physical body that you need to detoxify, it's also your spiritual body. Make sure that you are not getting too drained by other people's energies. Try to shield your energy from negative or toxic people and make an effort to think positive thoughts. Yes, a very good stone for grounding here and supporting these chakras. Let's um, pull around. And we have algiz. This is all about being protected. Um, protection from negativity. Um, it's all about opportunity coming in. It's all about, it's also about not letting your guard down. Um, being cautious as you move forward. Um, watch that negativity. Watch those things that have a negative effect on you, on your life, on your plans, on what you're, what you're trying to accomplish, your intentions. Pay attention to those things that might hinder your progress, that might have a negative effect, okay? And take the opportunity to uh, detoxify this week. Okay, take this week, take some time, and maybe focus on one area that you can detoxify just to start. This is what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed week.